guys I am going to make seafood sauce with this leftover um, octopus that I have from the other day um, I figured you know I'd remake the sauce I know you've guys seen it but the the old one that I did with my mom two three years ago the sound sort of cut off so I figured uh, I'd redo it <laughs> so I have garlic two for five cloves and you can customize this however you like you can put one chili you can put two chili you can put three chili four no chili. five or no chili five six i'm gonna put six just because there's only a little bit um so so far i have two four five cloves of garlic chili in there cilantro root you can hear Aaron there in the background <laughs> Um, so cilantro root is basically cilantro and then just the root here. I know that in North America it's really hard to find the root so if you can't find them you don't have to put it in. Um, so that and then you kind of pound it. I'm just gonna oh maybe I'll do it here because it's my and be careful don't get any of them in your eye now on um, also if you don't have um, a, a mortar you can always always put it in um, one of those food processor Ooh, I can smell the chili um, food processor put it all together you can I pretty much put all these ingredients in the food processor and just blend it make it easier but I like making it this way because I don't know that's just how I make it so far this is what it looks like Smells good already. All the chili in there. I have uh, melted. Um, <coughs> sorry. <laughs> I have um, melted palm sugar in here. Um, if you're using regular sugar, you can put the sugar in now. Man, the chili is just going everywhere. This sauce is gonna be spicy. All right. So that should be good. So you can have it more crushed or this is what you're looking for. Now, oh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna put in um, a handful of cilantro right now first. And I'm gonna crush that up a bit. This one, this one, the cilantro is gonna be super mushed and blended in here because I found a different seafood recipe that you put um, pickled garlic juice in here as well, which we're going to do after. So there, I don't know if you can see yourself right there. Again, it's all up to you. So I'm putting one two, three spoons of sugar. Oh man, I used that, that spoon. It's okay. You use a spoon? No. Okay. I'm gonna put in, ooh this pickled garlic juice three tablespoon if you don't have it you don't have to put it in it's just for extra flavor lime four spoons of lime lime fish sauce is the same ratio Or if you like it more salty or sour, woo, you can kind of just customize that on your own. This sauce is just so refreshing. And this sauce, honestly, you guys, goes with anything. 
seafood, chicken, steak. <laughs> okay, taste test. Well, I heard. That's good. The rest of cilantro here, just for some color. And that is it, you guys. Usually, yeah, no, 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 that's it. I was gonna add um, fermented fish sauce in here just because fermented fish sauce makes anything and everything good to me, so. Yeah, we're ready to eat this octopus. I'm just gonna put it in a bowl and I'll be right back and pretty much clean this up. Okay, so we got that. Put our seafood in there. You ready for our seafood, you guys? So excited. So that's what it looks like. I know most of you know this. Mm can't wait here is my baby octopus I boiled earlier this has like eggs and stuff in there so I'm just gonna go like this um, I only have a few left because I did an ASMR video with these um, yesterday so and you know octopus it, for for it not to be um, in my experience, not to be like too chewy. Um, don't boil it for too, 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 too long. Oh, I said, ah! <laughs> squid down, squid down. I mean, octopus down. <laughs> you ready? I'm gonna have the first bite. But I'm just gonna have it with this baby cucumber. Mm. I feel like it's gonna be really spicy because I can smell it. Actually, it's not spicy at all. Well. Want me to get me another chili? <laughs> no, thanks. Mmm. Mm. Oh. Oh, man. Okay, you guys. First bite of the octopus. I'm going to get a little bit of the chili. Sawtooth herb goes the best with this. And cucumber, of course. Mm. It's spicy. This is kind of like my lunch. I'm not really hungry. I just want something spicy. Mmm. Would you like to try some chicken with it? Mmm. Aaron's having barbecue chicken. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna eat it with this because I don't want to drip. I'm telling you, the sauce goes literally with everything. And the chicken here is like phenomenal. They put some sort of Thai chili sauce or something <laughs> on it. <laughs> Organic chicken. Organic barbecue chicken. This tastes better than Costco chicken, right? It does. Because <laughs> Costco um, roasted chicken is our absolutely favorite chicken. Yeah. Until we discovered this. Yeah. And this was just bought at the supermarket. Um, Big C. 89 baht. It's like $4. Three. 
three dollars yeah. oh, for maybe, one whole chicken. Yeah, maybe closer to four. Sorry. So I'm like, I don't even want to ruin the taste of the chicken because it's just so good. Like, you I mean, got enough for two bites there. There you go. Now, I swear it's like a Thai chili sauce or something, like a sweet chili or something. They glaze it. Soy sauce, probably. Oh, soy sauce. I feel like I need sticky rice with this, though. Mm. Mm. I have potatoes. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> you eat your potatoes. <laughs> um, but like, look, it's so tender. Falls off the bone. Mmm. Huh. I'm gonna dip it. Mmm. Mm. It's gonna be good. Uh -oh. Delicious. Wow. That's go good with anything. It does. I need veggies though. Hmm. So good, you guys. I know I said the sauce is not spicy. <laughs> it's kicking in now. So normally, Aaron doesn't like chicken skin. <laughs> but, but. But when it comes to this one, he doesn't even want to share. Because <laughs> I love chicken skin. This chicken skin, yeah. But it's funny because the flavors, like you said the other day, the flavor soaks all the way through. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It does. Did you get that piece of cartilage too? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, Thank okay. you. I was like, I put one on there for you. I didn't see it. <laughs> I always share the cartilage though. <laughs> no. It's just how generous I am. <laughs> Man. It's good octopus. Mm hmm. So good. You ready to eat now? Yep. <laughs> he was making his potatoes. It takes forever for them to boil. Mm -hmm. Chicken and potato is what Aaron is having for lunch today. Oh, and broccoli. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the broccoli. So I just wanted to show you guys Aaron's lunch today. He doesn't want to be on camera today. It's one of those days, you know. <laughs> so I'm going to have my lunch here. <laughs> so, yep. Instead of at the tiny table. I really, I just don't think I would fit at the tiny table. <laughs> well, no, I could have, I could have made the bigger table. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a lot longer though. Mm-hmm. Just having to go to the store and get stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he, he had to go to the store and get chicken first. And so I didn't think he was going to be back in time. So that's why I started doing, you know, the video. Store is pretty close, but still. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, man. This is so good. How good is it? Mm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. The flavor really does go all the way through this chicken, though. Mm hmm? Like... Even in the breast, right? Yeah. That's like... 
I usually don't like chicken breast. And that chicken, oh. Yeah, and it's moist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it has the moistness of Costco and the flavor of Thailand. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> More than you asked for. Mm -hmm. It's like perfect. And it's only 89 bucks. Four dollars. You, know, you know what's funny? What? Yeah. Tell me. <laughs> this is hilarious. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, that it, um, it's, it's more expensive when you get it from the little part where they cut it up fresh for you mm. than if you just buy it off the shelf. It's 89 when you just buy it off the shelf and it's sitting there. And if you go and ask them, it's 125. If you ask them to cut it, you mean? Well, well, it's cut on the shelf. It's exactly the same. Hmm. It's just one, they package it and put it out there, and the other one you go and ask them, oh, hey, can I get one whole chicken? But it's still cut up. Yeah, it's still cut It's exactly the same. Both are exactly the same. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. I wonder why that is. Is it maybe because people think that it's not as, like... And I, oh, and I felt it, and it was hot right off the rotisserie. Well, all of them are fresh made today. Oh, yeah. It's just, I don't know, maybe... Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. It's weird. weird. Though. Yeah, it's really weird. But even if for the more expensive, it's still not that expensive, right? Yeah, it's an extra dollar. Mm hmm Like. Mm hmm More than happy to pay the dollar. <laughs> totally. Hmm. I know I'm eating more vegetable than the actual seafood because it's the sauce. I'm telling you, it's the sauce. Mm. Mm. So, just news yesterday, you guys. <laughs> They are extending the closures. closures and the curfew <laughs> for another two weeks till the end of this month. So I think we pretty much at this point feel like we made the right decision Yeah. for Aaron to go home early. Yeah. And you to go... To my mom's area yeah and go visit everyone yeah now now my issue is um trying to find out how i'm going to be able to cross province to go see my mom because i don't know if it's going to be i don't really know you guys i i'm really nervous because because what if i can't even go to my mom's house or my mom's area you know mm -hmm. like there's so many possibility so if i can't do that then i might go home too <laughs> depends how long it goes on for depends how long it goes on for yeah but the worst part is i personally think is that it's always two weeks 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 it's been two weeks two weeks two weeks two weeks for the whole time we've been here so far i know they, it's closed for two weeks, and then it's starting to open for two weeks. Then uh -huh. they fully open up for two weeks, and then fully, fully open up. You can sit in restaurants and eat, and then two mm -hmm. weeks later, it's closed. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're exactly. always like, you're always like, oh, it's okay. Just another two weeks, then it'll, you can go. Uh huh. So uh -huh. you end up sitting here for three months. Yeah. And, and then like, you just don't know when it's gonna. Like, no. I don't even see a light at the end of the tunnel, you know? No. I, I think as long as I can I think you'll be able to get there though Make it to my mom's area mm -hmm. I'll be fine Because mm -hmm. if I have to stay in this Condo by myself I think, I think I'll go nuts go nuts Literally I can't And I won't Eat, work out Sleep, no. Eat, work out, sleep. 
be like quarantine all over again. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, to follow up from our other day, too. Mm. What's the worst part about eating a clock? <laughs> Is this your dad jokes? <laughs> What's the worst part of eating? About eating a clock. About eating a clock? That there's no time limit? It's time consuming. <laughs> 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 Did you guys hear that? Um, here's here's one I read in the comment section. Oh. Let me think about it because I'm really bad at telling jokes yeah. sometimes. <laughs> okay. What do potatoes wear to bed? Mm, what do potatoes wear to bed? Yummies. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a good that's one. That's a good one, right? Wow. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. I'm I'm definitely telling that to Emma. Yeah. She's gonna be like, ah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's funny. <laughs> mm. I'm telling you guys, this sauce is so easy to make and it's so delicious. In a Thai kitchen, all you need is chili, garlic, fish sauce, and some herbs. <laughs> and then you can literally make anything. 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 Even if you just have sugar, fish sauce, lime, and fermented fish sauce. That's it. Get those things and there you go. Mm -hmm. All right. I was just gonna have my last bite, but it's so good and it's so addicting. You got a couple more in you now? Mm hmm. <laughs> but, but I'm down to my last cucumber. Oh no. And I don't have any more. Herbs, cilantro, uh, sawtooth. Nope, gone. And that's the last of it on in the fridge. So we'll have to go do a grocery run. That wasn't on my list today. <laughs> I don't, don't ask me to get herbs. <laughs> you guys, I have to tell you this really, really funny oh story. God. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Let me finish chewing first. I was only going to say because, shockingly, <laughs> everything here is written in Thai in the supermarket. So everything I need to buy, it's like FaceTime or pictures. Oh, yeah. Or, um, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. You know, if you don't know, you don't know. So it's extremely difficult yeah. to go grocery shopping here. Right? Unless it's like cucumbers or tomatoes or things I know, right? Or cilantro. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Or basil. Huh? Yeah, basil. <laughs> basil. Oh my god. Okay, so you guys just I don't know anything about herbs. <laughs> it's okay. This has been defined. It's okay, you know? Everyone like everyone has their strengths. Yes. And everyone has their weaknesses. So anyways, you guys, <laughs> this one time I sent Aaron to the store to go get cilantro, okay? And then among a vast list of other Yes, okay, with cilantro, tomato, cucumber, lettuce. Yeah. Vegetables. I yeah. sent him to the grocery store to get vegetables. And uh, he got everything right, you know. He, great job. He got, he got literally 99.9% .9 of them right. Except for he showed up instead of cilantro. I'm sure you could probably guess what he showed up with. Carrots. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, you're not that bad. <laughs> Wait. Isn't that what's growing out the top is cilantro? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Is um wait what's it what's it called again? Parsley. Yes, he showed up with parsley, you guys, and and then I was like, wait, did you get did you forget to get my cilantro? And then because I, I was all confused, right? Um, I was like, wait a second, did I did I ask you to get um um parsley? 
or and then you just forgot to get cilantro because I at the time looking go looking through the bag I had for, had forgotten what I had asked for. Anyway, he's like, "Well, no, that's is, is that not cilantro?" <laughs> I'm like, no, it's okay. I still have to read the label on them. Because yes. right, they put them right next to each other. They too. do. You, you know, know to like, be fair, on. to be fair, they do yeah. sort of put it right it's next like to each other. It's separated with some carrots or some cucumbers or something, so it's not like bunches mixing together. <gasps> so, funny. so now it's like, even still, I have to look on the little tag yes. on the bench, on, yes. the, on the herb. Yeah. I, I, I actually gave him a really good tale. It's like, next time just smell it because you don't like the smell of cilantro. And he's like, well, I don't want to smell it. <laughs> okay. My, my mom doesn't even like to touch it. <laughs> no. She turns the bag inside out on her hand and grabs it. Yeah. And See, it. it's genetics. He yeah. doesn't like it. His mom doesn't like it. No. Um, What's the super cilantro called here? Culantro. Oh, no, no, no. Um, um, sawtooth herb. Oh, that's what that was you just ate? Yeah. Oh. Sawtooth herb. <laughs> Anyone that doesn't like cilantro, do not try <laughs> yeah. sawtooth herb. Sawtooth herb. He Aaron calls it. Is this the super cilantro? <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Because <laughs> that's what it is. But it is pretty. It's really potent because it's it, it it leaves a scent on your hand for so long. Like even just now, I can still smell it. Well, no, I can smell the octopus, but <laughs> more so the seafood. <laughs> ah. But it is like super potent cilantro. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Make juice out of that for somebody if you want to prank him. It doesn't like cilantro. Oh man! Here you go. Yeah. Ah! At least you're. At least you just don't like it, and it's not like you're allergic to it, right? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. Because sometimes, like obviously, Thailand and Mexico, it's like yes, you can't get anything without cilantro. But see, his favorite cuisine is Mexican food. And in Mexican food, there's cilantro in everything. So, everything. I, so I don't know how he does it. It's hard to avoid. It's it, like he tries to pick them out, but it's like, well, no, it's like thinly, yeah, it, finely it, chopped. They put it in the salsa. Yeah. Like you can't yeah. get it out of the salsa. You know, it's, it, yeah, I, 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 I feel him because raw onions is like that too. And I love yeah. Mexican food and like Mexican salsa. There's already like minced onion in there, like raw minced onion. And yeah. I sometimes, sometimes I don't even eat the dipping or the, the the salsa because of sometimes the onion is just too much for me and that's why i substitute the salsa for cheese when i go to subway <laughs> yes I come back with oh. some, somebody leaves the room while i'm eating my sub <laughs> it's so it, i don't know i i get it i get I it used to be, not like onions. because i'm like that with onions too so yeah when i was a kid i hated onions yeah hated them and then somehow, I don't know. But now, like, um, certain raw onions don't bug me as much. Mm. Like the ones here, like the little red, not shallots, but they're still red onions. They're somehow, sometimes sweet. So I'm, sometimes I'm like, am I eating raw onions or is it something else that looks like an onion? Well, they say your taste buds change every, like, some yeah. 10 to 12 No, years but then I like tried the regular red onion, like the, 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 the one we have in North America, and I'm still just like, whoa, that's yeah. really potent. Some people, <laughs> one of my friends used to eat onions like apples. I, do, I know people who do that, too. Like, that's too much. That's too much. Or, or like, those um, raw garlic cloves. Whoa. Yeah, I, I... That must be healthy for you, though, but wow, look oh, at their breath. for sure. Wow. Yeah. I, 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 um... You could kill vampires with that breath. <laughs> That's just... <laughs> <laughs> vampires or people? <laughs> um, anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, <laughs> until next time, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Mwah! Bye! Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, there I am. Goodbye. <laughs>